Hello and welcome to Two Dudes and a Mic with me, the fact spitter, Todd A. Brown, and none other than our other, of course, host and, and, and co-host of uh, this new podcast here with episode number three of Two number Dudes, three. One Mic, none other than my man, Big Hank, a.k.a. Henry Sanders. Let's go. We're looking That's forward. right. Of course, this episode, uh, today's episode is dealing with nothing uh, but some college football stuff. You know, college Correct. football on the horizon. Um, and we're probably now getting close to about 60 to 50 uh, days out from the college football season. Schedules have been dropped, of course. So what we're going to be doing um, from week to week is just reviewing some schedules, uh, getting our feelings on, of course, how we feel about certain teams are going to do. Maybe before the season starts, we will literally hit every schedule. So those of you who, um, you know, your favorite team, we will probably cover it and you can be mad and upset with if you think that we've given them too many losses or you can be hyped because you feel as though we've given them too many wins. But either way, two dudes in a mic is going to give you the best when it comes to dealing with these schedules and dealing it with something. Sometimes it's going to be a little bit biased because you're going to hear some biasness today with some of the things oh, yes. you got coming <laughs> forth. And then there's other times when you're just going to have to deal with these bare bone facts. So uh, my man, Hank, how we doing today, man? All right, doing pretty good, man. Ready to enjoy this July 4th weekend. Man, I know that's right. You got any plans? You got some barbecue getting ready to go on? Oh, it'll be a little barbecue ribs this weekend, man. Yeah, we're going to do some barbecue <laughs> game cock too. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you on that. Uh, that's a nice anyway, setup. Before, before we get into, of course, our college football schedules, one of the things, because this is our college football show today, mm -hmm. um, you know, um, for probably what, since 2014, we found out that, uh, of course, that was the last iteration of NCAA football. Correct. You, my friend, were probably very glad about because you, my <laughs> friend, used to took, take some serious L's in NCAA football by EA Sports. Now, part of the reason why, of course, EA Sports discontinued the game was because with the downloadable rosters, it mm -hmm. created this big brouhaha over name, image, and likeness. And so because there could be no settlement on that, of course, EA discontinued the game. Which, uh, now, I'm giving you opinion on this right here. To me, <laughs> NCAA football was the top, okay, earner okay. of EA Sports sports games. Yeah, everybody yes, was. was crazy about Madden, but it was nothing like the pageantry of EA Sports NCAA football um, to where you could create yourself in the game and, and, right. and change conferences and do the recruiting and, and play in every single stadium of every single Division I team. There was nothing like it. Uh, nothing the, like the, it. Mm -hmm. The number of tournaments and things that individuals would have, uh, of course, in regards to NCAA. And then, of course, they just discontinued it. And so for years, we've been playing the last version of that, trying to act like and trying to figure out a way to put together our own little college football playoff and have not been able to do it. And the gamers right. of the world, let me say this, the gamers of the world have been upset because <laughs> EA Sports has still made their money. We see now that, uh, of course, the college students are making their money, which I think, which I think is, is a good thing. Of course, us being former uh, college football uh, athletes. I think this is a wonderful thing uh, that they are able to make their money. But now what we have found out is that because of NIL, right. sports may be pushing back the game again. And I don't yes. know about, but I'm about to be mad and I'm about to go find me some college students and, 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 and pull out a can of some whoop tail. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. It's been a little bit long news platform and social media platforms on this week about how once again uh originally slated um two years ago that it was supposed to come out this summer like it actually should be out july of this year but then when the nil and all that became involved and and how much would the college players get for the nil they pushed it back one more year and they also wanted to make sure that we were getting the best game possible and so uh, the most recent article I read 
um, through one of the video games. Like you mentioned earlier, the game was upset. Video game um, blogs is that some the, some players don't don't care. They're like they happy just to be in the game. Do you have some players that are chip players and they feel like they should get more than what EA is offering? And EA is only offering them. I'm saying only, but EA is offering them five hundred dollars. But one time. Stop, pause. Pause right there. You're absolutely right. EA Sports is offering, and now let's get understanding in this. They are mm-hmm. offering every single player that is on the game five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. So, so that means, um, uh, I think Caleb Williams, okay, who was one of the top, of course, uh, mm-hmm. he's a Heisman candidate, as we know. Okay, right. is getting five hundred dollars, and then Jay Johnny. Who, who who went from being walk on to a scholarship player just this year is going to get $500 right. too. $500. Now, to me, I think that out of the pool of money that EA Sports has set aside, which is a a, a serious amount of money for which you to is. give every single player that's on the game $500. And then we have people that are going to complain about the fact that you're getting $500 when you could have gotten no dollars. Mm-hmm. And the truth is, EA really should not be responsible for covering your NIL. See, because right. as we look at NIL, mm-hmm. you know, these kids are getting sponsors from 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 uh, from from restaurants, of course, uh, you know, Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, you you know, mm-hmm. you name it. Um, uh, Gatorade, Powerade, Beats, Beats by Dre, Powerade, Gatorade. Um, so some some of y'all students, let's let's just be real about it. some of y'all students need to do your legwork. OK, because truthfully, with 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 what you're getting from EA Sports, that's free money. That's right. In other words, you didn't you didn't have to do anything with all the that's other. NFL, they're looking for you to do something. They're looking for you to perform. OK, but mm-hmm. EA is saying, hey, this is a gift. Now, I'm going to take it a step further. OK, because this is the problem when you have a bunch of um, um, young people. <laughs> um, and this is opinion here. OK, so so folk that want to get mad and feel a certain way about me, whatever. But this is the truth. Because there's a lot of uh, um, financial illiteracy, the truth is, if you give me $500 that I don't have, I can go take that and invest that and then have that money working for me. And now I'm making more than $500, if you understand what I'm saying. Correct. And so for for those individuals who, who feel as though you're not getting enough, take that $500 and invest it in some mutual funds or, 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 or some stock. Go, go buy some mm-hmm. Apple stock with it. Okay, and let that money right. while you sleep. <laughs> let that money work with you while you sleep. And he, he, once again, he, you going know, back but, to but, 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 but then, but, but this, literacy. Mm-hmm. at the end of the day, at the end of the day, uh, student athletes, uh, emphasis on student athlete, mm-hmm. uh, you should be glad with what you get because at the end of the day, EA Sports is not trying to pay you, EA Sports is trying to make money and allow individuals like us who are gamers the opportunity to enjoy a good game. That's right. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. Now, when they came out with, with the Marvel game, not everybody, uh, 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 which call it, um, uh, uh, Scarlett Johansson, she, she, mm-hmm. she, she, she didn't complain about whether she was getting some money from, from them putting her in the game as, as, as right. Scarlet Witch. You know, Chadwick Boseman, one God rest his soul, one complaining about, oh, you don't put me in the game as the Black Panther. Right. Christian Bale, Christian Bale wasn't tripping over the Batman series that came out that, that gamers enjoyed. So my thing right. is, take your residuals, which is the $500, and enjoy it, and let the gamers who enjoy gaming enjoy the game. Right. Because, I, look, I'm not going to take another season without being able to play NCAA. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, because oh, number one, it's been too long since I whooped your tail in the NCAA. <laughs> yeah, man. It's been and I retired long. from Madden, but I ain't retired from no NCAA. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, y'all think you can handle me in either one nowadays. <laughs> I'm Mr. Mickey Quit. I'm thinking about changing my game tag to that. Mr. Mickey Quit. <laughs> but, man, so so even, even with all that's been said, man, I mean, bruh. How do you really feel about all of this litigation that's going on around a game that all yeah. of us can 
and enjoy, adults and even these student athletes. And even these student athletes. And that's what I was leading to a minute ago. You have to understand that at the end of today, it is a game, okay, for our entertainment. And even though this is a multi-billion dollar company, they still put in consideration of, hey, in order to bring back this game, like you stated earlier, was one of the most highest grossing video games in video game history. Facts. History. Facts. Okay? It, plenty of years went by when NCAA or Bill Walsh, according to which iteration that you played, outgrossed Madden. Come on. You took it back. Gave you you out Bill Walsh. Exactly. I took you way back to let you know even the heritage of the game and how long it's been played. You understand what I'm Correct. saying? The console going all the way back to Sega Genesis, man. We've been, yep. we've been battling out on this thing. That's right. You see what I'm saying? And this game, like I said, as the years went by and different iterations of it, the different things you were able to do in the game, where they had playoff center, you could make your own playoffs. They implemented a BCS type system, able to change back and forth the conferences. Like you said earlier, briefly you touched on it. You were able to create your own players. You were able to uh, uh, download your own rosters. I mean, truth be told, I feel like NCA just really just overshadowed Madden. Oh, and don't forget the recruiting features and the recruiting feature. And, and I, with I real didn't really like the draft in Madden, with all the but I loved the recruiting the phase in NCAA. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, and you could create your own coaches because yes, I sure enough had Coach Stephen McNeil as a coach, and I had oh, I did uh, too. Coach, yes, I coach did. Steve, coach Steve Wilkes as a coach, and even yes. Coach Coach Sherman and Coach Acock as a coach. <laughs> <laughs> I sure did. Uh, they all, look, now they, of course, they weren't on the same staff, but they was all coaching their own team. They were all coaching their own team. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and so it was, it was, you know, that, that that's what made it fun. And, and, and now the money's getting in the way of people being able to have fun. Right. And, and, and games and gaming ultimately is supposed to be about fun. And it's supposed to be so that EA can make their money. Mm-hmm. And truthfully, while we're talking about EA, since it's a company, for these for these student athletes with that five hundred dollars, go ahead and invest in EA. And every time the game sells, and every time EA does well, you're gonna get more money on that five hundred dollars mm. that they paid you for what they put you on. I'm just saying. exactly <laughs> now. You mentioned that earlier. Now this is where I want to go with that. The five hundred dollars. Now I know you know brown people. You know I don't know if you let the people know what you do outside of two dudes in the mic, but if, I'm not trying to bring in religion, but if you need to bring you in, want to. right, because we do anything we want on this show. But if, <laughs> so we did say bias, this and facts, and remember, That's we're right. going to bring it to you. Money representing uh, uh, in the scriptures is like talent. What can you make your talent do for you? A lot of people go out, and especially this generation that's behind us now, our children and what I'm talking about, they love their iPhones. They love the game just like we do. Make that money work for you, okay? If these schools, NCAA, these coaching staff, these different teams, it doesn't take, you have to have a long, drawn-out seminar. Just let them know that, hey, take this money and make it work for you. In other words, helping them out with financial literacy. I was on a blog this morning, and I read about how there were athletes, like big-time NFL athletes, big-time Hall of Fame wrestlers that are to this day broke. But never mind that they made the WWE so much money and even made so much money in the uh, in the WWE or in the NFL. And, but they are broke. Today, because oh. it didn't have financial literacy, they didn't have financial common sense, really and truly. They didn't invest their money to where then they now up in age, retired, and they're leaning on the system like anybody else. But you didn't want out there and broke yourself up, sacrificed yourself for a game that you love, but no one told you, hey, take some of this money, put it in the bank, take some of this money and invest it in these 
different companies, invested in construction, invested in railroad. See, I'm dropping nuggets on them. <laughs> invest in the railroad, invest in Amazon. I mean, things that's like a proven in, in, stock invest, market. Invest in the grocery stores. Invest exactly. in Exactly. And in, in, hey, invest in real estate. <laughs> hey, but look, Come man, on with look, it. look, 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 we sit here talking investments and we we two dudes in the mic supposed to be talking about sports. We we dealing with financial literacy stuff. But anyway, so the <laughs> other thing is the other thing I want to Come say. Come on with it. Um, but that's how the show can get, y'all. Um, as as we continue to grow and get our feel, you're gonna see that we're gonna be all over the place and hopefully uh the things that we share from a sports standpoint is gonna cause you to enjoy, but also there's some life yeah. that, that you get because that's right. Hopefully, Sports does teach you about life. Well, um, come on. That, that's one of the greatest things that that um, one of my coaches said in high school. Um, he said, mm -hmm. that, you know, uh, sports, if you let it, will teach you a whole lot about life. Um, and it really does. That's right. But the other the other thing, and, and since, since you went spiritual um, and, and, and not trying to stay there too long, but what EA has done is actually taken a, a, a spiritual principle uh, from the parable of of the labor in the garden okay remember, correct. remember the labor in the vineyard where it did that's not right. matter what time of day you came everybody got the same wage the same wage. so what ea has said is no matter who you are on the game everybody getting the same wage of 500 dollars. so that's right so, so take take your pay and, and and enjoy it and we thank you as as we do what we got to do um that's so right is there anything else Come you on. want to touch on uh from an nil uh, uh ea sports ncaa standpoint because I, I think I, we hit that enough about. for right now because this is right, sick cool. way into the next topic all right cool <laughs> <laughs> so as we say moving right along mm -hmm. now let's get into what we really wanted to get into the meat of uh today is really dealing with uh some of the schedules and what we project to be win loss records for uh, teams in this upcoming season as you know uh, right. last week we gave you the way 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 too early predictions for conference winners now we're giving you the way 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 too early thoughts on win loss projections for teams okay okay so, yeah. now the wonderful thing is is that y'all can always go back and check these episodes and see where henry was wrong and todd <laughs> was right <laughs> we gonna change that this season, but come on. So, <laughs> in the words of Colin Cowherd, where Todd was right and where Henry was wrong. <laughs> right, I, so I first first up on this is 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 uh is Texas Tech. Now, here's come what on. their schedule looks like. They open up against Wyoming. Mm -hmm. That's Your a win. Cowboy. That's come a on. win. Okay, then, 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 then they have Oregon, then Tarleton State, then they're at West Virginia. They're going to have a tough game against the very tough, new to the Big Twelve Houston Cougars team. Right after going on the road against West Virginia, mm -hmm. then they have to go on the road after facing Houston at home. Then they have to go on the road to Baylor. Not an easy test. Then Not an easy test. Home to play Kansas State. Then they're on the road to take on another newcomer to the Big 12 in BYU. Then they have after BYU, which, which I think is a winnable game, but it's a road game. So that's the only difficulty that I really kind of see there. Then after mm. that, they have to come home and play TCU. That's already a loss. Okay. Automatic. That's a loss. Okay. You can book it. Okay. And then you have them um, at Kansas, which should be a tough tough uh, game. Kansas started to, of course, look strong as of last year. Got a new coach. Uh, quarterback play has been very good. Their defense has been solid, so that should be a really uh, nip and tuck game. And then, they right. play, see, then they play UCF, and then they end their season going to Texas. That's another automatic loss. Okay? Yeah. So, uh, as, as, I, as, I, as of course I look at that, what are your thoughts on Texas Tech's schedule, bro? Texas Tech seems to have a pretty tough schedule this year. They're, they're, they're going to, I don't see eight and four in the future. Maybe six and six. Yeah. Yeah. Because Baylor's going to play them hard. Texas is going to play. Texas is going to give them the business. 
So, so like we so stated in a very earlier pitch, I predict Texas even take game. the Big 12. So oh, you're picking the bowl game. It'd be a pretty good bowl. mediocre bowl. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, somebody give him a music of you heard it here first. You heard it here first. Texas Tech, four wins this year. Wow. Four and eight. Four wins. Four and eight. Ooh, four and eight. All right. If, quick, if you can, quickly give us your four wins, man. What do you think? What game do you think they may win? So they're going to win their opener at Wyoming. Sure, okay. They're going to beat, they're going to beat Tarleton State because I've never even heard of Tarleton State, and I don't even right. know if I'm pronouncing Tarleton State correctly. That's how much <laughs> I know about Tarleton State. I just told you that I think they're going to get that win against BYU. So right. That, that's three. And then mm-hmm. I told you it's going to be a nip and tuck game between them and Kansas. And I believe that the nip is going to lead to Kansas tuck. And so therefore uh, they're going to win that game. That's their four wins. Everything else is a loss. Everything else is a loss. I feel you Everything else that. is a loss, bro. I feel you. I feel Book you. it. Book it. You heard it here first. You, 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 heard, you heard it here first. See, see, you, right. you, you in here, you in here, trying to be nice to folk. So, so I've given them four wins. Where do, you, where do you see the two additional wins on their schedule? Potentially Baylor. That's a potential win. On I the road. Seen. It's a, anything that happened on this case any given Saturday? Because Baylor for the past two years, you do not know who's going to show up, even with wait, Baylor wait, at wait, home. Wait. Stop. Pause, bro. Correct. I hear you saying Baylor, but you really think that they're going to beat Baylor on the road at Baylor after a home game against a tough Houston team? In Houston, they, they played Houston the game before. They played Houston right? at home. They played Houston at home the week before. All right. All right. Houston, who is now new to the Big 12, and now have to get used to Big 12 defenses. These Big 12 defenses, I have to go back and look at Houston's schedule. But Houston by week, what are we at now? Five? They'll be pretty beat up. Houston. So there's just two wins. Let me tell you something. Houston is not new at, at, at putting their, their foot in the team's John Brown hind parts, though. <laughs> Ain't that a damn back in the conference anymore. But okay. Okay. I All hear right. you. I hear you. Those, 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 you know, six and six, you think they're going to the bowl. So I, we already know where Henry is wrong. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, we'll we'll see in December, so, buddy. So here we go. Drum roll for the next team coming up. <laughs> it's the South Carolina. Throw your hands up, wear your shirt off. <laughs> Throw it up. <laughs> Them game cards. The victory, buddy. <laughs> that, that last year, uh, you know, in our pick 'em contest. You showed no lotte, lotte, lotte. Mm, lotte. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So this is this is what this is what South Carolina's uh, schedule looks like uh, for 2023. Come on, start off. Hoo-wee, in the Queen City, playing yes. UNC, them Tar Heels, the Battle of the Border, North Carolina against South Carolina. That's how the season's starting off for the Gamecocks. That's right. Then from there, then from there they have home game against Furman. Mm-hmm. Then they go on the road to Georgia. Oh, Georgia. Georgia, oh, my man. Then from Georgia, they come, they come back here to Columbia to take on Mississippi State. From there, they go on the road to Knoxville for Rocket Top, Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> then right. Have, then they have the Florida Gators, so hopefully they'll get, they'll eat some Gator bites that week. Oh um, yes. Then, then they're going to take on uh, Missouri, the Missouri Tigers on the road. As a matter of fact, they have back to back road games: Missouri, back back. Mm-hmm. then Texas A and M. Then they'll get a break from SEC play and take on Jacksonville State, um, who is no slouch. As remember, a few years ago they did upset uh, on a on a hail mary my Florida State Seminoles. Um, yeah. and, then, and then after Jacksonville State, they get right back into SEC play against uh, Vanderbilt and Kentucky and their season, of course, against their rival from the other side of the state in those Clemson yes, Tigers that they did beat last year. Um, yes, they did. they did. 
ended that losing streak to Clemson and are going to see if they can get a win streak. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm letting you know right now, uh, from my friend, <laughs> you are going to hear a uh -huh. whole lot of biasness coming up right here. So, yes. uh, bruh, let us know how you feel in number one about your Gamecocks and what you think their win loss is going to be after you just heard that sketch. Yes, <laughs> now, all of that all out. Yes, the Gamecocks, man. I, this had to be the most anticipated season that I have for my Gamecocks, man. In 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 years, Spencer Rattler had been spring practice has showed tremendous, tremendous improvement in his passing ability, his 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 his, his reading of the defenses. I've seen uh, clips of their practices in the spring game to where these cats were going at it, man. And Spencer Rattler held his own and his team won the spring game. So this is going to be a, a, a wonderful season. Um, you know me, um, just coming from the straight biasness perspective, I see them game cops going undefeated, of course, undefeated. But realistically, there are two losses coming. So truth be told, is try to pull back on my some of my biases so a little so bit. Saying, so you're saying ten and two. I'm saying ten and two, and it's the obvious two losses that we're going to receive. It's obviously two. Okay, so yeah, and, okay, well, you know, bro, we're pretty close um, in our thinking with the Gamecocks. I do uh, uh, feel confident and strongly that the Gamecocks are going to have a good year this year. Um, uh, uh, Shane Beamer is a very good coach. His definitely yes, he is. Uh, change the culture here uh, for the Gamecocks very quickly. Um, and so mm -hmm. I have the Gamecocks this year. They're not going to get double-digit wins. Okay, come on. Well, one game short of double-digit wins, nine and three. I, nine I, and three. I just, you know, number one, I don't have them beating Georgia or Tennessee. No, no. after two guaranteed and, losses I was giving you, yeah. And those last two games, Kentucky or Clemson, they're going to slip in one of those. Yes. And um, most likely, it will be against Kentucky. I believe we have Kentucky on our slate to talk about um, their schedule, the potential schedule and in, in, uh, record this year. And Kentucky is the team for the least past 10 years to keep your eyes on. And especially the past four to five, they, they have shown that they are a team in the SEC that you just can't look over. Right. And and, and now, it, it, and it's always a tough game between Kentucky and South Carolina. That's right. Um, even though we don't know who the quarterback is going to be for Kentucky, we have an idea, <laughs> but but we don't, yes. we don't know, um, you, you, you know, th this year what, what the quarterback play is really going to look like. Uh, right. But, if 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 the Gamecocks were playing Clemson, the first game of the of the season, I would give them the win over Clemson. But mm -hmm. usually by the end of the season, Dabo's going to have this thing figured out with this team, and you're going to get the tough Clemson team after a tough Kentucky game, and that's why I just think one of those games there's going to be some slippage because the Gamecocks yeah. have two very easy games before two tough games. And, it's, and right. it's, hard. it's hard as an athlete that when you have two very easy games to then win two tough games. And so I'm just doing really the law of averages when it comes to that. But correct, I'm with you. Go ahead. But the, the Gamecocks are going to be an SEC contender because truthfully, uh, with that record, with a nine and three record, and only one of those losses possibly coming in the SEC, they could end up in the SEC championship. I don't know. Oh, it's a possibility. It's yes, yes. I've noticed that it is a possibility that that can happen, but the Georgia Bulldogs, being who they are, the only real shot that we have at winning, just you know, and going into the the SEC championship game, two things will have to happen. First of all, we will have to beat Georgia. Okay, that's number one, and we pretty much would have to win out from that point. I don't mean to is the SEC still doing divisions? Yeah, yeah. to my knowledge, the SEC is still doing divisions. Uh, Everybody else is yeah. going to like a okay. BCS type yeah, format. So they don't be but the SEC still has East and West. 
Yeah, if they, if they if they don't beat Georgia, they can cancel Christmas. Exactly, exactly. They would have to beat Georgia and those other games we talked about. They would have to win those games and maybe, maybe still lose to um, Kentucky. Yeah. Maybe Clemson. Because the Clemson won't affect the, the conference. That just right. affect us nationally. Yeah. But in the, in the conference, we will have to beat Georgia. And yes, pretty much went out and then maybe hope that if Georgia is having an off year, because I doubt it, I seriously doubt that Georgia has an off year, maybe that will play into our favor. But if Georgia is playing Georgia football, it, it, like I say, it'll be a fist fight until the end. Okay. Now, I just want you to remember how much time we gave to your Gamecocks. So then yes. we, when we talk about my, my Seminoles, I want us to get the same amount of time because you ain't trying to get no time to Texas Tech. Man, so, so next, 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 <laughs> next, next, we have next we have Kentucky. Here's Kentucky's schedule for you. Yes, they open with Ball State. Then they have uh, then those, mm-hmm. then so it's home at Ball State, home at Eastern mm-hmm. Kentucky, home against Akron. Then they're on the road at Vanderbilt, home against Florida, on the road at Georgia. Uh, home against Missouri and Tennessee, back on the road for Mississippi State, home against Alabama, and then they end the season with two road games, one at South Carolina, and then one at Louisville. So you just heard their, you just heard their slate. What are your thoughts? They could easily go seven and five or six and six. Yeah, because we have Alabama. So, so, so tell, me, Alabama. tell me the five losses that you see. Okay, let's back up from the top. All right, I don't have my pad in front of me because I do the technical circumstances. Let's start from the top and run it off to me, brother. Okay, so you got Ball State. That's a win. Eastern Kentucky. That's a win. Akron. That's a win. Vanderbilt. It's going to be a tough one because Vanderbilt is a surprise team on you. In the SEC this year, but that's a win. Okay. Then you got Florida. Gator meat for break for dinner. Okay. That's a win. You got Georgia. That's a loss. Then you have uh Missouri. That's gonna be a win. Tennessee. That's a loss. Mississippi State. That's gonna be a win. Alabama. That's a loss. South Carolina. That's a loss. At Louisville. Woo! That's that's the game. That's the game, man. Because I have them at eight. They arch rival, and I haven't really studied Louisville in our off season. But I'm a, I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give them that win. So I know Kentucky's player development. So, so I'm giving them that win. So then you're agreeing with me because I have I have Kentucky at eight and four. That's yeah. eight wins. But that's. That's that's the so-so game. That's the so-so game I was talking about. Well, 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 look, you gotta you gotta you gotta come and be definitive at some point. Yeah, yeah. You I get you that. That's, don't, that's nobody the game. To, don't nobody want to drink that, no lukewarm juice or lukewarm soda. <laughs> I hear you, bro. I hear you. But you know how we both played this game. Anything can happen. I mean, I mean, I don't know about you, but in my at least in my high school career. We went against teams that we know we should have stomped. We would have yeah. we would have knocks, yes. and then we got beat by a team in a three A. That don't happen with your rival though. We're a five A juggernaut. I got you, but that doesn't happen with your rival though. It you're usually than, doesn't, but it if is you're a better than your rival, you beat your Clemson. rival. Ask Clemson. We shouldn't beat them, but we beat them. Ask Clemson. It was garbage last year. Okay. But I'm saying. Clemson still overall, they're, they're Clemson. All right, so so you have them seven seven and five. I say eight and four. Now we go up the road. Yeah. We get out of the SEC. We've done two SEC teams, done one Big Twelve team. Now we go to the conference of conferences. Oh, I come hear. Over to the Big Ten, baby. Oh yeah. yeah. Where it's three yards in a cloud of dust, where running backs still matter, 
where offensive line to you, play is about meat grinders and big hogs moving people up out of the way. It's about That's right. quarterback play and solid coaching. It is the Big 12 where none other than my other team, Big Blue, resides. Somebody say where Big Blue resides. Big Blue resides. That's right. Mm. But we're not going to talk about Big Blue today. We're going to talk about them Nittany Lions from the state of PA, where your boy from. So right. let's go with the Penn State Nittany Lions schedule, where they will open up against West Virginia. Then they then they go to Delaware. Then the, then they're at Illinois. Then they have mm-hmm. Iowa. They're at Northwestern. Versus right. Mass at Ohio State. Then we have Indiana, then at Maryland, then, of course, the game of games against Big Blue, then Rutgers, and then we end the season with Michigan State. So, what say ye? Ooh. Eight and four. Eight, eight and four. Eight, eight and four. Eight and four. Oh, oh, okay, so we're, we're, give, give me. They the lose to Ohio State. They okay, lose to so Michigan. They lose Ohio State. Okay, so that's two. They lose to Michigan. They lose to Michigan State. And they also lose to a loss of team. Uh, what's the last two games? Rutgers and Michigan State. What's the one before Rutgers? Michigan. And then you got Maryland. Indiana. That, no, they're beating they 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 Maryland. Who's after Maryland? Indiana. Northwestern, Iowa, Illinois. There it is. That's, there it is. Northwestern. They lose to Northwestern. <laughs> really? Watch what I tell you. Another dark horse Bro, team, Northwestern. Let me tell you something. This Nittany Lions tell, team, Watch what I tell you. This Nittany Lions team is a 9-3 and three team at worst. Mm. They are a 9-3 mm. and three team at worst. And I can pick your only, three losses, but go ahead. And, and that is only because they have to play Michigan and they have to play Ohio State this year. That's two losses, guaranteed. Right. The only other loss on their schedule, and it's really a toss-up, is against Michigan State. Right. So that's why I say they are a they are a nine they, a nine win team at their worst. Mm, mm, mm. You okay. are saying. That you, 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 Northwestern. Th- this ain't debate club. This, this, this ain't robotics. Hey, this is hey, football. Last, hey, last year you got me on some things because your boy wasn't paying attention to certain things, but I paid attention to Northwestern during the off season. Okay, and what I you have got? three letters for you that is helping Northwestern this year. Okay, please give me the letters. In, I. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, let, I well, paid let, attention to you. Your boy paid attention this year. Uh, well, look, look. All, <laughs> all I know is this. NIL ain't gonna help them because them checks ain't them checks ain't them checks gonna bounce for all them. You be you be amazed some of the guys that were top in the country that are now Northwestern man. I'm telling yeah. you, watch out, watch out. Look, ladies and gentlemen, you hear my theme music. Once we get the theme music, you'll hear. But I have to practice anyway. <laughs> you hear it here first. At worst, Penn State is nine and three. Okay, okay. it's a weird game don't, difference. Don't don't listen. Don't listen to 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 that guy. Okay, <laughs> Damn. okay. Hey, that's, you said don't listen to me, but those will be Cowboys. <laughs> they were like my backbone last season. If I couldn't count on them game cards. I could count on them Wyoming Cowboys. Come on. <laughs> really? We talking about some Wyoming Cowboys. Come on. Come Look, on, man. <laughs> but why are you talking about why? why you I was trying to even bring them up, but there but you look, go. But look, why are you talking about some Cowboys? That's the only Cowboys that can win anything is the Wyoming Cowboys. But anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That one, that blue star, not going to win anything. Fly, Eagles, fly. But anyway. Come on with it. So we so let's let's move. Um, we're not going to stay in the, in, in, in the Big Ten. Now we're going to go out west. We're going to go out west. And you love to the out west teams. Come on. We're going to go out to the Pac-12. And we're going to end uh, the, this, this segment. We're going to end this discussion uh, in regards to dealing with 
the University of Washington and their schedule. And their schedule goes as follows. Mm-hmm. They open with Boise State. Then they have Tulsa. Mm-hmm. Then they're on the road at Michigan State. Then they have uh, California. Then they're on the road at Arizona. Then they have Oregon and Arizona State. Then they are on the road back to back against Stanford and USC. Then mm-hmm. they play Utah. Then they're on the road again at Oregon State, and they finish up their season at home for the Apple Cup against Washington State. So what say you? Mm. Mm. Yeah, they Man, got a tough I, got a tough I've, been, I've it's been hard for me to give them five wins, so I'm going to go ahead and say four and eight. That, that's it. Uh, four and eight, man. That's, that's it. What did you say? Four and eight. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, you, you're connect. You're connect. <sighs> <laughs> some happened. Some uh, uh, happened with your connection, man. Four and eight, man. Four and eight. All right, run. I'm gonna show you. Run it from four, the top. Four and eight. So I'm gonna four, show it. Run it from the boy, top. Boise, man. Boy, Boise, four and eight. State. Boise State. That that's 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 a toss up, but I'm gonna give him that win. Tulsa. Yeah, they're gonna win that. Michigan State. They lose. California. They lose. Yep. Yep. Watch what I tell you. I've been paying attention. I'm about to put you on mute. I've been paying attention. Come on. (laughs) You still have two wins. Come on. Arizona. They lose. Oregon. They definitely lose. Arizona State. They lose. They just got a new coach. Yeah, right. Herm Edwards, you play to win. You play to win the game is not there anymore. Exactly. But they have to shake off a whole lot of culture. And I've been trying to watch their movement since they left. Okay, mm. fine. Stay Arizona is literally a desert for you know. For college football players right now. Let's go. Stanford. Stanford. They lose. Now, if you're talking about a team and a program that's coming out to fight We're this talking year, about the Washington that's Stanford. Huskies. We're talking about Washington Huskies, not Washington Tech. Not 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 <laughs> not William and Mary. We're talking about the University of Washington. Trust me. They lose. USC. That's a loss. That's a loss. Utah. They lose. Oregon State. They lose. Still at two wins. Washington State. They lose. And you know the Cougars are going to come and tear them up, man. Come on. Bro, look, I I'm laughing because you are like really serious. I'm dead serious. You really gave Washington a total of four wins. Right. And this team was a serious contender last year. And you're saying that their plummet is going to be that bad? Now It's going to be that bad. Now me, I have them winning seven games. Come on. <laughs> I had them winning seven games. The the look, I had them beating boys, I had them beating Tulsa. I, I have them beating Cal. I have them beating Arizona State. I have them beating Stanford. And I have Come on. them beating Oregon State and Washington State. That's seven wins. Bro. That's seven wins. You are the statistician. You are the journalist. Brown. Brown. Come on, Brown. <laughs> if I've been paying attention, I know you've been paying attention, man. This yeah. NIL has changed and flipped some teams upside down. I'm t- uh, yes, okay. yes, yes. Listen, listen. I know that NIL okay. has, has, has flipped some teams, and I know that the transfer portal has flipped some teams. Yes, it has. But there, some of these teams still need the gel. Now, now we we look. We even saw last year there was a lot of transfers that happened last year, and it in some teams it helped, and other teams it did not. And I'm sorry, Wash, Washington 
is a seven win team. They're, they're, go, they're going to a bowl game. You, you have literally said they are not going to go to a bowl game. No, they're not. I, I can't with you. I can't. It's time to do it's time, to it's time change. for you to, to get your, no. your wallet right. Look, it's it's time to change the subject, okay? Yes. This is time to change the subject. Especially when it comes down to talking about your wallet because, to change because, the subject. Oh, oh, no, we can talk about my wallet all day so long. We're going to talk about this best for a while. I'm dealing with you. I think this is the first dinner. I might get bonus just to agitate you. Hey, let me, let me tell you, you something. You know, I can't stand bonus wins. Hold on, bro. You still owe me a <laughs> meal. You still owe me a meal. Why you hey, you can get it. You can you know get me to be ready, but not this weekend because I'll be out of town. But yeah, like, after that, I'll be ready. It's like it's like this, man. You look, you be like Shannon to my skip Bayless. You always own me. <laughs> oh man. We're gonna see this year. Like you said, you caught me at the last minute last year, man. But I will be ready. Look, you, you, you put gonna, on his readers and been his reading, been you studying. Gonna wanna, look, you gonna want to lead a show because of all the losing you about to do. Nah, I said, oh, no, 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 mm-mm, no, I'm going to come on here with some of them wings and heat them up in the microwave you, and just be slurping, just slurping on the, on the mic on you. You want me talking about brown, I'm brown, man, I'm tired of this losing. Brown. Man, you know you skate by the skin of your teeth last season. <laughs> come on, man. And did the playoffs hit, I mean, the playoffs, but then they, in bowl season, in bowl season, in bowl season, I beat you by two games. Two, two, my friend. But do we want to talk two. about the regular season? How many games I beat you by the regular season? Okay, then. All right. Man, we bet like anyway, every single game so, in existence. I want so, to say what twenty. All right, but listen, bro. Last thing we need to talk about. Okay, this big weekend and something that you you and I enjoy. It's 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 sports entertainment. Yes. It's not football, it's not baseball, it's not basketball. Okay. It is the sports entertainment business known as wrestling. Wrestling. And this weekend, <laughs> I always like for us to kind of close on wrestling. Uh, because then we yes. go talk a little bit of smack and everything else. Uh, and it's yes. just a of course. But last week we heard the super kick felt around the world. As Joe yes. put boot to face to Roman Reigns. And said, "We out. We are. We the ones. But you ain't. We the ones. That's right. And so with that, now SmackDown tonight, the send off show before Monday mm-hmm. is the Battle of the Brothers. You got Solo and Roman on one side. You got the Usos on another side. Come First." On. What do you think is going to go down tonight on SmackDown? Because you know Roman got to show his face after Solo took took boot to face uh, on last week. I believe we're going to see an enraged tribal chief. And I do believe heads are going to roll. Who heads going to roll? Don't know yet. But we'll find out that on SmackDown. I know this much. Look, if, if they're going to build this thing right, Roman... <laughs> And Solo got to get some smash time in tonight. They, yes. They, they have got to put some type of whooping on Jimmy and Jay for there to be any believability that the bloodline ain't cracked. That's right. Now, now, that's now, right. If, if Jay and Jimmy don't take that baby face whooping tonight, we already know that the reign of Roman is done. It's the Roman done. Empire has collapsed. You can cancel Christmas. Whoever wins money in the bank is going to be the next champion, and they're going to ride it until WrestleMania when Cody Rhodes comes and takes the championship. But That's right. speaking of money in the bank, who you think wins? I got my money on, yeah, L.A. Knight. Same here. I'm with you. Yeah, that's my fave there, man. L.A. Knight. Oh, my God. You better come home with that briefcase, man. Now, I hear that there's been some backstage heat. In regards to, there's some who want Logan Paul to actually uh. win Money in the Bank, and 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 bro, I'm gonna tell you like this: I have a problem with um, anybody. I have a problem with any celebrity wearing a belt because number one, celebrities, yes. celebrities don't have the time to really be carrying a company. So though Logan Paul will help to to get viewership, maybe put some, a, a few additional butts in the seat. At the end of the day, 
you need somebody that's on the on the uh, regular roster, uh, challenging for a championship, and and, and build that. Mm-hmm. And hey, that I only have up. one name to say to you right now. When I saw them add Logan Paul to Money in the Bank, mm-hmm. and I know you know your wrestling history just like I do. And when I say this name, you just may actually cringe. <laughs> Vince Russo. I'll give you another one. David Arquette. He was brought in by Vince, Vince Russo. Russo. <laughs> the man who literally shrunk the ship, known as the WCW. Yeah. Yep, that was the that was the beginning of the demise. That's right. And and and, and for those of you who who are sports entertainment entertainment enthusiasts, I I I I challenge you to go back and watch the uh, Monday Night Wars and once Vince Russo, right. okay, started being in the gorilla position. Exactly. Got bad, y'all. It got bad. Now it yeah, got bad. It got money, ugly. The money side of it was one thing, but even with the money side, they were still having good matches. But then all of a sudden, the matches got horrible. Horrible. And that deals with the, whoever is in the gorilla position. I'm just saying. That's right. Um, but uh, so tonight, SmackDown, y'all check it out. But again, this is two dudes and a mic, episode three, and we hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this time together uh, with both uh, myself, uh, T.A. Brown, and my man, H. Sanders, uh, giving you um, our biased opinion, sprinkle, with a little bit of sprinkle, because that's what we do here at Two Dudes at a Mic. We give you a whole lot of biased opinion, sprinkle, sprinkle, with a little bit of So listen, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, Make sure that you tune in. Uh, again next week we'll have another show we'll be of course going through our schedules and have some other things to talk about to continue to keep you entertained and engaged as we talk all things sports and life here at two dudes one mic